Are you ready to get some food? Good morning. This is a mess in here, but last night we put up our Halloween decorations. And we got this new TV stand. I think it's really cute. Got my lamb. Mm -hmm. Got the baby's pumpkin. I need to take care of the kitties first. And then start breakfast. Hi, Pins. I wake up to this every day. They're so pretty. First thing I do is I go to the kitty station and I refresh their water. Hi, kitties. usually vacuum because they get litter outside the litter box and I don't really like that so I'll go back here once I switch to a stainless steel litter box like there's just no reason to be using plastic you know what I mean and plastic can get kind of expensive I've had like medium-sized plastic and I've had large-sized plastic of litter boxes for cats and they're literally like $45 this was the same price and stainless steel is less likely to harbor the bacteria, so and it's so much easier to clean. And I do not have to clean it as often. Not not the litter part, but just the whole pan when I go to replace the litter. So what I do is I close this up. And then I vacuum just right here. Let that pepper eat. It's a slow feeder too. I have a slow feeder, so I feed them um, two to three times a day. Hi. I like how bright this is. We just put this in last night, and like we had no light in here. This apartment doesn't have any light on the ceiling. The only form of light, right there. If you're wondering why I'm speaking so low, it's because my baby's sleeping. I don't want her to wake up right now. I'm gonna soak up this quiet time right here and just relax. I haven't lit my Palo Santo or my sage in a long, long time. And I think that's part of the problem is like, I'm not tapping into the things that I used to do on a regular basis, like my tarot deck or, you know, just resetting my space so that it has better energy. Especially when you go throughout the day and you you experience things in life. You kind of have to like do something ritualistic to rid of it. And that's just how I choose to do things. Is I like to read about my tarot and use Palo Santo. Okay. And it smells good too. Maybe. There you go. And then he fumes up. And we got our little smoke. I just put my vinegar in here and mix half water, half vinegar. Um, and this I use for dishes. I sanitize the counters. I sanitize the sink. Spot, spot stain, whatever, it's really versatile. You know, it looks kind of concerning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten avocados. Yeah, and then I just put them in the fridge. Um, I'll check the other one. And then I see. Oh, that's perfect. I know. I'm literally perfect. What I do is I get them ripened a little bit, right? And then if they seem like they're a little more moist. Um, to feel on the outside, then I throw them in the fridge so that they last longer because uh, now we live in a more humid environment and it doesn't feel like our produce lasts as long. So we got to do what we got to do, right? To make it last. And I like my avocados, so it's like, 
cannot waste my avocado, man. It's already two small avocados. Garlic, onion powder. Do I not have any onion powder? What in the world? Okay. So then we're just gonna do the top of those. Oh. oh my god, that's too much. Okay. There. It actually melts fast. I, I don't know. I didn't think it would do that. Okay, so we take our bread. Put it on there. These are little leaves. So cute. Little pieces of bread. Nope, 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 that's too much. I told you.